So the Nets are finishing 2022 in style, taking a 10-game winning streak into action versus Charlotte on this New Year's Eve. We'll have more on tonight's matchup in just a moment. But before the confetti falls and the celebrations pick up, let's recap the year Brooklyn has had. And we begin last season, January 5th, when Kyrie Irving made his season debut playing only road games due to New York City's COVID-19 regulations. Ten days later, Kevin Durant suffered a knee injury and the Nets struggled during his absence. On February the 10th, Brooklyn broke up its big three at the trade deadline, sending the unhappy James Harden to Philadelphia. The trio played together just 16 times. An exemption to New York's private sector vaccine mandate led to Kyrie's Barclays Center return March the 27th. The Nets ended up the seventh seed in the East. That meant a playoff matchup with the Celtics, who swept Brooklyn on their way to reaching the NBA Finals. In late June, while the organization was planning for a new season, Kyrie ex exercised a player option in his contract to stay while Durant requested a trade. But on August the 23rd, Sean Marks released a statement announcing the Nets and Durant would move forward together. There was a major shakeup just seven games in when on November the 1st, Steve Nash was fired as head coach after over two years. Turmoil continued a couple of days later when Irving was suspended for failing in multiple opportunities to apologize for tweeting about a film containing anti-Semitic material. The suspension lasted eight games. Now, he and Durant have the Nets on a roll with one game left before 2023 arrives. Talk about some kind of year. At least we can say it seems that the ship has been righted right now.